Okay, so there is obviously a lot of news going on about the fact that there's a lot of baby formula shortage. And if you are someone who has a child who is age appropriate for formula and you are for whatever reason unable to uh, access breast milk or do breastfeeding, this can be a very stressful thing. So let's talk through some of the guidance that's actually coming from the American Academy of Pediatrics. I'm gonna to link to a article at healthychildren.org, which is a website run by the American Academy of Pediatrics. This is the group of physician pediatricians. These are the people who take care of kids the best. And they're gonna go against some of the things that you might be seeing on Facebook, which have been frankly a little scary to me. Uh, let's kind of run through some of the major questions that they just put out in this article uh, on May 16th. First off, what do I do if I don't think I can find my normal formula? Changing brands is actually the, the most recommended way to come up with an alternative option if your primary option is gone. Now that usually works unless your child has a very specific metabolism error or there's some, um, there's some allergies at stake that are very serious. Changing brands is often a, a reasonable answer. Next, oh my gosh, Facebook, stop sharing all these Facebook messages about make your own formula at home stuff. A number of those can be very, very concerning and um, dangerous because they don't often have the right uh, balance of minerals. They don't always have the right balance of uh, fluids to, to solids. There are many concerns with those and there have been infant deaths reported from folks making their own formulas. Um, that is not something that is generally considered safe. If you're just literally out of formula, please get a hold of your pediatrician before you try doing something like that. Do not make stuff on your own without guidance from a pediatrician that is not necessarily considered to be a safe thing to do, okay? Next, should you just dilute it? Hey, if I normally have enough formula for a week, but I know I'm gonna have to make it two weeks, should I start diluting it in half? That is absolutely not something that is recommended. That can be dangerous, so please do not just dilute the formula. It would be better, and advised by the American Academy of Pediatrics, to just use the formula you have at the appropriate mix and the appropriate doses and then when you run out, let's find the next solution there. But do not keep diluting baby formula. That can be dangerous. Next, they talk about cow's milk. Can you just go ahead and just give cow's milk? That is not necessarily considered great for younger children. Temporarily, real short term for folks who don't have um, any actual specific digestive issues over six months, temporarily short dose. That considered okay on like the worst case scenario, but not considered an ideal solution. Goat's milk. Are goat's milk formulas considered okay? Um, in the United States, they are not necessarily um, FDA approved at this moment. They are working on some potential of some expedited approvals. Maybe we'll have something approved soon, but we don't currently. So goat's milk is not currently something that could be uh, recommended as an FDA approved treatment. So I know that this can be completely scary. Um, so please reach out to your pediatricians, reach out to your physician, your, whoever's helping you with your child on the medical side of things. If you start to feel like you're getting nervous that you are having some food insecurities because we want to try to help you get some good, actual good medical advice and not just some of the random posts and blog things that you see floating through social media, okay? You want to make sure you get good approved medical advice. One great place to start, healthychildren.org, run by the American Academy of Pediatrics. Thanks.